Toll increases are likely coming to some of Western Washington's roads, including the 520 bridge. Traffic plummeted during the pandemic, and that means fewer dollars to pay for maintenance and other expenses. King 5's Ted Land is joining us live from the bridge tonight. And Ted, how much of an increase are we talking? So drivers who use the bridge could pay between 25 and 35 percent more as soon as this summer. Regulators who control tolling also say increases are likely in the 99 tunnel and on the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. As people hunkered down during the pandemic, they also cut back on driving. And with much less traffic on toll roads, the state is now forced to find ways to make up the loss in revenue. The fact of the matter is um, we have a, a big shortfall that we're, we're trying to address. The Washington State Transportation Commission is discussing new toll rates, and its immediate priority is the 520 bridge, where revenues are down 54 percent compared to before the pandemic. The state says its forecasts don't show traffic on the bridge returning to pre-pandemic levels until 2025, and even then there will likely be funding challenges. The commission says a toll hike of between 25 and 35 percent could be in place by July 1st, with another possible adjustment in the fall. Drivers currently pay $4.30 for a rush hour crossing with a good-to-go pass. The commission is also considering toll increases in the 99 tunnel and on the Tacoma Narrows Bridge, likely this summer, but they don't know how high those might be. The commission says it's waiting to see how much money the legislature might kick in to help ease the shortfalls. WashDOT says the 99 tunnel has had the slowest recovery of the state's toll roads. We're hopeful traffic is going to return as vaccinations continue to rise and people get back back to somewhat of a, a more normal um, life and maybe go back to the office even part of the week. We should get more clarity on the possible toll scenarios on the 520 bridge next month. The commission says it will reduce toll rates as soon as it can, as soon as we're beyond this pinch point. But again, those forecasts show the state in a shortfall for possibly years.